بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وعلى الأخطة من لساني يفقه قولي Hilal Siding and Islamic Dates, Issues and Solution, inshallah. A lot of work on this topic has been done by a number of brothers and sisters all over the world, including, but not limited to, the Hilal Siding Committee of North America and the Islamic Crescent Observation Project. Much of the work presented here today is, can be found at these websites, www.hilalsiding.org and www.icoproject.org. Here's an outline of how we plan to proceed today. We start with our motivation and goals, some basic information on Hilal Siding, calculations for the dark astronomical new moon versus calculations for the visible crescent Hilal, Umm al Qura calendar and the Saudi Hilal Siding process, global siding versus local siding versus Saudi siding, issue of either other date, siding and calculations are they complementary or conflicting, zone of uncertainty in calculations, naked eye versus telescope siding, group versus solo siding, number of witnesses required, size of matla, etc. In the end, we, we summarize and conclude with a solution and action items, inshallah. What are our motivation and goals? Inshallah, we all, I think, should have the same goals, meaning to reach correct dates for the Islamic occasions, which are acceptable to a broad spectrum of ulama and verifiable by the ordinary masses. We would like the Muslims to be unified and have a mutual understanding of each other. And may Allah give us this and all khair. Ameen. Here's some basic facts about astronomy. The moon revolves around the earth. When it comes in between the earth and the sun, the completely dark side of the moon faces the earth and it cannot be seen. It's a completely dark astronomical new moon. When it moves further away, then a small portion of the light from the sun starts getting reflected off its surface towards the earth and that's when we see the crescent shaped hilal. So the hilal is not the same as astronomical new moon. Hilal is typically a day or two after this completely dark astronomical new moon which is invisible. This is also called the conjunction in astronomy. The Quran and the Hadith refer to the hilal with its characteristic crescent shape which is likened to original qadim, old and withered lower part of a date stock in Surah Yasin. There are no verses in the Quran or in the Hadith which refer to Qamar Jadid or new moon in respect to fasting or to ikhtaran which is conjunction or to the vilada of the moon. It doesn't say sumu li viladatihi. It says sumu li royatihi. So it refers to the roya or the sighting of the hilal. This is also what makes the 13th, 14th and 15th of the month as the white fasts, the siyam abiyat. Because if we start with the astronomical new moon, then the days which are closest to the full moon would be 14, 15, 16 and not 13, 14, 15. So the point is that the new moon is not the hilal, hilal is later. And also this, the new moon or the astronomical new moon corresponds to the eclipse. And despite the fact that there was at least one eclipse occurring during the time of Prophet Sallallahu there's no evidence to the fact that, to, to, to indicate that he Sallallahu asked to start the month with an eclipse. So that's the first message. The Hilal is not the same as the astronomical new moon, but it's something which comes later. Now where on earth would the Hilal first be seen? Some people incorrectly think that the Hilal will always be seen in the eastern countries before the western countries. But that's not true because the earth is not flat. Instead, it's roughly spherical in shape. And east and west are only relative terms. In reality, the Hilal could be seen first in just about any country, usually closer to the equator around the globe. Once it is seen in one location, then as we go west, the sunset time would be later and later, thus making the Hilal bigger and bigger and hence easier to be seen. Eventually, when we cross the artificial international date line, the solar conventional date changes and the Hilal is seen the next day in the countries beyond the ideal. So the second message I'd like to give is that Hilal would typically not be seen on one single date all around the world. The Saudi